I just got back from a business trip to the Netherlands and I still cannot believe that I was given this opportunity and was able to take advantage of it because I had the most incredible time on this trade mission through my local real estate association. So in this week's video, I'm going to share with you what the heck this trade mission is, what we did, where we went, what we learned, and who we talked to. And I am going to be on the streets in the Netherlands sharing everything that I learned with you. So if that interests you, which it really should because hello, it's the Netherlands, it's the foreign market. So if that interests you, then stick around. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is a very different video on my channel that you normally see from me, but I will tell you that you are gonna be seeing me hitting the streets of the Netherlands, showing you properties and how much they're worth and just telling you all about them. So you are gonna get some property tours in this video. All right, so let me share with you a little bit of a backstory about how I was there on this business trip. So here in the United States, we have the National Association of Realtors. And as real estate agents, we are members of our local board and of the national board. And the National Association of Realtors has a global ambassador program, and they have five regions that they service. What the National Association of Realtors does is they appoint either a state or a local MLS board to partner with these countries. And I am so lucky that my local board, Metrotex, here in DFW, is is the partner association to NVM in the Netherlands. NVM is the largest association in the Netherlands where I think 75% of all of the properties sold in the Netherlands are sold by an agent that is affiliated with NVM. And NVM, it does stand for something. It, it, is, it is in Dutch and please, please, please don't ask me to try to pronounce that, but I'm going to link their website below so you can certainly go and check that out. Being a part of this partnership means that we go on trade missions. And on these missions, we explore business opportunities over in that foreign market. We learn from local brokers, we tour properties and build relationships with this other country. And that's exactly what we just did for the last few days. We spent three days meeting brokers, touring properties. We went to NVM's headquarters and learned about their market. And the really exciting part as to why we went this week is NVM is celebrating their 125th year in operation, which is an amazing accomplishment. And one of the evenings they had a fantastic party that we were invited to. I mean, all the food that you can imagine, all the adult beverages that you can imagine. They had live entertainment a very famous Dutch performer was there performing and it was just a fantastic party. And I can't believe that I didn't get any footage of that party. I mean, I did, but for Instagram, so I did a reel on it. So just follow me on Instagram and you can go check out that reel. But we absolutely had such a great time. And something really exciting happened to NVM when we were there. Now we did not witness this, but we did hear about it, that NVM did receive the Royal Sermon. Now, what is that? The Royal Sermon was introduced by King Louis Napoleon in 1806 and is therefore the oldest royal award in the Netherlands. And it was given to NVM because of their prominent place in the country in their field of expertise and in society. So they were given this award on September 21st, which marks the 125th year in operation, which is just really exciting. So when we were there at the celebration, the the, uh, the symbol of this royal sermon was over the NVM's logo, and it was just it was just really cool to see that and um, and have the brokers around us just really be excited about it because it was just a great accomplishment that their association has earned. Now that you know why we went, in this part of the video, I'm going to highlight and overview what we did each three days that we were there. And I will be boots on the ground in three different cities showing you some properties. All right. So what the heck did we do and where did we go? We stayed in Amsterdam at the Hyatt Regency Amsterdam, which by the way is a beautiful hotel. And that breakfast in the morning, 
to die for, to die for. So if you ever get to Amsterdam, stay at the Hyatt Regency. <laughs> it was very good and so cute inside. All right, day one, very exciting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say that like a lot of times for this video that this is all just going to be very exciting. We are walking through the town right now. We are actually going to be taking a canal ride through the urban development here in Amsterdam and can't wait to learn about the buildings and I'm talking to the brokers here and, and all of that stuff. The brokers met us at our hotel and then we walked. Cause you know in Amsterdam you do a ton of walking. I didn't do any biking cause that just scares me. But anyways, so we walked to a couple of different properties. We went inside the Museum Van Loon and I will link that in the description below. Right now I'm in the Museum Van Loon and it is a building that was built in 1672. And it's been, it was a residence, it's been converted into a museum. So I am actually on like the basement floor and you can really see behind me how short these ceilings are. And out this window, you see a little bit of the courtyard so you get some sunlight but not but not a ton but just to show you the example of what basement units may look like compared to second or third floor units and we learned about the properties talk with the brokers along our walking tour of the city a little bit so trying to film on the go while we're on a tour is proving to be a little bit difficult but um, that building that i just showed you there we learned a little bit about it it was actually just recently renovated the the entire facade of the building kind of think of it like a condo there is an hoa on there and they own the entire building underneath there they own the parking garage those two double green doors that's where the cars will go in and out and one of the units is for sale for 1.3 million euros Ooh! and it's overlooking the canal gorgeous all right so how do you guys get furniture up here <laughs> at the very tops of the buildings a lot of time there's going to be a hook at the top, the structure of that hook needs to be maintained by the homeowners association. And sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. So you can hire a moving company to hook the stuff up and load your couch up, but they have to have like a certificate showing that that hook has been maintained and it's not going to drop your stuff, but it's kind of like a pulley system. As I was filming, you could see, so there was some rope right there and a man was, kind of at that top window that's open and you can kind of see that rope right there with the hooks but just at the very top is where you see where you see these hooks or you can try to get them up these narrow stairs your furniture <laughs> or sometimes if you can you hire a moving company and the moving company has almost like like, like an elevator built into the vehicle that they can bring your furniture upstairs. From there, we went on a canal boat ride through the city center and we went and had lunch at a fantastic restaurant. And I'll also link that in the description below. And after that point, we went to our hotel and had the rest of the evenings to ourselves. Along our walk today, I was actually speaking with one of the local brokers and I learned a lot about the units that we see here. So a couple of questions that I asked were, okay, so it's on the canal. Are those units more expensive? Well, yes, of course. So these buildings are really long and it, they are going to have some units on the back side. So of course the units on the back side don't have the canal view. They aren't going to be as expensive. And sometimes behind there, it's just buildings and there's maybe a balcony, but sometimes you get really lucky and there is going to be a garden area or maybe a really small common area. But one thing to note is that each building might be owned by one like homeowners association or sometimes units might connect and be owned by four or five units may be owned by like one specific homeowners association. So it just kind of depends. A couple of other questions that I asked were, you've got a lot of these buildings where the doors are, they almost look like they're going downstairs. And yes, they are, they are going down to a basement where they don't have a ton of lighting, but actually those units are, and like those, the basement units and maybe like the first floor units, those are the ones that are actually less expensive. So something that I asked were these units you've got on the basement floor or the first floor, how expensive are those compared to the units on the top floor? And she said, it's actually 
quite the opposite. I mean, I thought that the units on the higher floors were going to be more expensive, and she said not necessarily the case, because um, a lot of these units were built the first, the basement, first floor, maybe the second floor. They have the taller ceilings. The higher up you go, the ceilings are going to be a lot shorter, and the windows are going to be shorter. So when these were built hundreds of years ago, and people had money, they also had the staff that lived with them. So the staff lived in the higher floors with the smaller windows and the shorter ceilings. So those units right now are aren't as expensive as the units on the first, maybe the second floor, because those are the ones that have the bigger windows and the taller ceilings. Day two was a very long day, a very long day. So this is the reason why, or part of the reason why we are on our trade mission. We are at the NVM offices here in Uprecht. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's just about maybe 45 minutes outside of Amsterdam. But this is the Netherlands Basically, they're a real estate association. It's a gorgeous office, very modern. Today, we're going to walk around, tour the offices, meet with some of the people who hold like higher positions here within the association, and just get to know people, talk about their business. We had a sit down meeting with them, presentation, where we learned about their market and they learned about our market. And just a little heads up for you, their real estate market was very, very similar to our market. It was almost like we wrote their presentation and they wrote our presentation. Like, especially during the pandemic, they kind of thought the same thing that we did that, oh no, real estate prices are going to go down. Nobody's going to be buying any houses, but then their interest rates went down and more buyers hit the market. And then the prices of homes skyrocketed and people were paying thousands of dollars over list price for the price of their house. And when it came to new construction, they did not have a lot of materials and supplies like we did. They were very slow to get them. So it was just very, very similar. Right now, their market seems to be pretty similar as ours too. Homes aren't flying off the market super fast. They are sitting for a little bit. You're seeing a little bit more price reductions. Interest rates are higher, which makes it tough for some buyers to enter the market. Again, I was like, who, who wrote this presentation, us or you? Very similar markets, which is really interesting to know. After we toured their offices, we did a city tour of the city and it is so absolutely cute. So cute, Le learned a lot of history there. And then from there, we went to NBM celebration that evening and we danced and we sang and had a great time. All right, the next day, this whole trip was go, go, go. The next day we went to the city of Eindhoven and we met with local brokers and we got to tour three different types of properties. The first property was a home that's on the market and you're gonna see that in the description below because it is still for sale. The second property that we saw was a beautiful home that just sold and it was staged beautifully. The stager actually was one of the, um, was one of the representatives that came with us for the day. So her information is also in the description below. And then we also also went to a couple of different apartment complexes that were being renovated and all the units have already been sold but we got a chance to put on some hard hats and and walk around and see what these units eventually would be like it's another beautiful day here in the Netherlands and we are in the city of Eindhoven I hope I'm saying that correctly so that is about an hour and 15 minute bus ride from Amsterdam. So this city here is actually composed of both urban and suburban living. It's a tech city. So we were kind of downtown eating and we saw a lot of tech buildings and tech companies there. And, and so now we are kind of out in the, in the more suburban part of the city and we're going to be touring one of the properties right now. So let me show you a little bit about what I see. So the home that we are about to walk into, well, I've already walked through it, but it's, um, it is about 1,800 square feet. It was built in 1997. It is listed for 625,000 euros. So you guys can make that conversion. It's currently for sale right now. The home is vacant. Um, for what I understand that the ladies who lived here um, don't like the stairs. And so they are getting up in age and wanted to find something that was on one level. So they've relocated. So you've got three levels here. You've got a one car garage with the 
property. The kitchen and the living area on the first floor, second floor is going to have a, um, a bedroom and the bathroom and kind of like a little landing area. And then the top floor is gonna have another bedroom with a ton of natural light, bathroom, and a fantastic balcony that you wouldn't even expect from this property. This next house that we're seeing, again, I've already been through it, but let me give you a quick recap of it. So I'm standing in the garden right now. This house was built in 1937. It's about 2,600 square feet, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. But you'll see the inside of this house is very different from the inside of the other house. It was actually bought by an investor and they had an interior designer come in and completely renovate the interior on the inside. Um, actually a home stager who home staged, who staged this home is actually the one that was showing us the, the home. And it has recently sold at 1.25 million euro. And let me just tell you when I walked in, my, my jaw just hit the floor. The flooring is beautiful, the materials are beautiful. And what they've done on, on a lot of the, the, the walls and the texture of the walls and the wallpaper is just, it's really something to see, so. What do you think of it? All right, well, the last place we are in requires a hard hat, obviously. So this is actually a rehabbed apartment building and they are redoing all of the units. There are 265 units and they've actually have already been sold. So this apartment that I'm in right now is actually really, really long. You walk in on the left-hand side, about a half bath is there. Walk all the way down, you're gonna see three bedrooms and a bathroom. Right now I'm, um, I'm sitting in, probably this is gonna be the living area where I'm standing. And then behind me there is a covered patio and right behind that wall is the kitchen with the kitchen like as you're doing dishes and cooking you're going to have this nice view of the canal right here of course all that construction won't be there <laughs> but with 265 units all of them are sold they've all been sold they're either being sold to uh, primary homeowners or they're being sold as rental units um, i don't know the square footage um, i need to ask but but the real estate agent here said that she sold this unit for 500,000 euros and it should be done here in the next couple of months but the whole project is looking to take um, about a year so all right let's go look around so you can see what i see Overall, this was just an amazing, amazing time that I was able to have. I got to really meet and talk with local brokers, get their information, learn from them. And I also got to meet the local agents here in DFW that are a part of Metro Techs that also went on this trade mission as well. So I've made more connections here. And overall, it's just, it's just so invaluable, all of the networking that I was able to do and all the things that I was able to learn and to give to you guys. I hope to go on more more trade missions because it was just a chance of a lifetime. Well, that's it for this week's video. Next week, I will be back in DFW showing you what types of homes you can get for your money. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'll see you guys soon.